Hello, I'm Johnny and this is my YouTube channel. Uh, the other day I was showing you, um, I did a video of my addiction of watercolours. So I was just going through all the watercolours I own, well, some of the watercolours I own. And I was showing, um, at the end of the video I showed some swatches. Anyway, uh, in the swatch uh, folder is some artwork that I did. Uh, I've been... Draw, trying to teach myself to draw and paint uh, three years ago but uh, my main passion is sculpting with Polly McLean making art dolls so of course you can't uh, be a master at um, painting or sculpting where I've got so many things on the go like I do crochet and knitting and all sorts so you can't really be uh, really good at one thing when you've got loads of other things on the go if you get me meaning. So I just thought I'd show you, well share with you, my journey of drawing, painting and trying other media out. Um, yeah, so let me see. So this is a, just a sketch I done. I wanted to, um, I'd watched, uh, I think it was a Tomb Raider movie. Uh, while I was watching it, I was just doodling this, so... Anyway, it's um, not complete, as you can see, just a sketch. I was going to sketch it out and then transfer it to watercolour paper and do a, a painting. Um, but I was struggling on the hand. I wanted to, uh, as if she'd chopped somebody's head off and she was carrying the head along, but I was struggling drawing the hand. So, anyway, that's that. Oh, this one. Uh, I was looking on Pinterest. Uh, one day and I seen this a model I mean of course he looks much better than this but I thought he had a really interesting face because he's got a broken nose and he had like a elongated chin and his beard wasn't full it was patchy and his hair was looked a bit greasy and that and I thought it was a really interesting face and I'd try and draw it but as I say I'm not um yeah the first of the 620 I'm not, uh, I'm just a beginner at the beginner stage, just do doodles and sketches, don't really complete pieces, because as you can see, I don't know how to do the hair, but um, maybe in a few years' time, I'll, uh, if the picture's still on pin interest, and I'll find it and try and do it again, but he had a really interesting face. Uh, I think it was black and white as well. Um, this is, um, I was doing a tutorial, following a tutorial on YouTube and it was just a, a model outstretched and as you can see I'm not very good at shading or anything, it's just line work and I just thought I'd shove some um, butterfly wings on and blue hair and make her into a fairy. Oh, this, um, I drew this and it was um, a naked woman. Um, I love um, curvy women um, to draw because I think I find it very interesting, much better than drawing like a, a thin person, loads of curves and stuff, but this is like just line work. Um, and then I just added all this, uh, just thought it would be fun to put her eyes in a bag of water, like as if she'd won a uh, goldfish at the fair, but uh, she was carrying her eyeballs in. <laughs> And <laughs> just dressed her like this. Um, uh, I got some markers. Um, I think Copic markers. No, not Copic markers. Some sort of markers, a lot cheaper. And I just thought I'd try them out. And I got like some uh, cheap marker paper. Just try them out here. Like on here. And this one here. And uh, here. And this one of a lady laying down, but uh, a mouth uh, should have been there, but it's covered. Oh, yes, and just that. And I drew this for um, a Father's Day card. Um, my dad thought it was funny when he got the card. Just thought that was uh, quite good. Um, um, this, um, I watch a channel, Cute as Voodoo. Beck, um, she's a brilliant illustrator and she does creepy gothic characters 
and when I watch a video I normally follow her along and I either draw, draw something completely different or something similar to what she's done but always with me own twist on it so this was I think she done a lady laying down in a swamp um all cut up and deformed and yeah I just did that um just messing about doodling uh doodling again um this uh watercolor I wanted to try out um with salt to see what that would look like do I need to focus in there so I really like the texture to it when I put the salt on it's supposed to be a koi fish and this one it just bled uh this um I was into um Creepy Alice uh Creepy Wonderland, Alice in Wonderland but a, a creepy take on it. Um and I just I was just doodling trying to draw figures and stuff and just came up with this. Poor little bunny rabbit. And this is um yeah, I got some pencils I was trying to uh, as you can see, you know, good at shading. But just learning. It's just all a process, isn't it? I enjoyed it. Anime, I bought quite a few anime books to show you how to draw anime because I was into anime at one point. I mean, I suppose I still am, but I haven't done it for a while. But it's just all... That's pencil, I think, yeah. Um, oh, on this, I wanted to make this. Drew this and I wanted to make it as an art doll. I haven't yet. And this is just like pencil. I just think that's so cute. Um, I think it's a reflection of me in the mirror when I'm getting out the bath. <laughs> but not for much longer because I've joined Slim and World and I've lost four pound. Yay! Um, yes, Johnny Be Good. That's my name, Johnny. So, mm, Johnny Be Good, the shoulder's all wrong. Um, this is just... I used Arteza... I got some Arteza watercolour pens. And I used them for the first time, and I'm not kidding you, must have been a fluke. First time I used them, not this picture, I'll show you, I think it's in here. Absolutely, really good, I was really impressed with it. But it was just a fluke, because I tried it again, and not very good. So, I mean the pens are really good, but I just couldn't. I'd rather just use uh, watercolours from a palette. Um, oh this, I was watching a movie and doodling and it's funny, as you can see I can't do hair but, uh, and I just thought it was cool to make an extra long hand she'd be quite good as an art doll actually um, I used to date, that. yeah, I've got a few dates that one's the 10th, the 11th, 20 uh, the 1st, the 10th, 19 yeah, um, yeah just messing around oh this um, I done a pencil drawn. This the modern woman, and uh, transferred it to. I traced it and put it onto watercolor paper. I mean, it's my own piece, my own uh, art, so why not trace it? Because uh, I wanted it to be exactly like this, so there's no way I'd be able to recreate it just by drawing it onto watercolor paper. But the reason why I done it on this paper is because. I knew I'd make loads of mistakes and uh, watercolour paper is really expensive and you'd ruin it using the eraser over it so much better to do it on uh, what's this cartridge drawn paper and then transfer it to watercolour to paint oh, there it is I used um, graphite tint uh, was it the watercolour pencils no, graphite tint paints. Oh, well, either. Which one of them? I just love that graphite tint. And this is how i done it. Um, this The shadowing of the leg was um, uh, went wrong, but still like it. And then I tried to do another one unsuccessfully. Oh, this is that... Um, I'm really uh, pleased with this. I just couldn't believe my first attempt with Art has a watercolour pens. And this is what came out. I mean, I sketched the mushroom and I was just messing around with them and it came out like this. 
absolutely gorgeous. But all the other attempts were crap. Oh, this is, uh, I don't know if you can see it. Take it out the plastic. I drew this face. Um, I don't know if you can see. Zoom out a bit. Zoom in. Um, I drew this. Because I was trying to draw faces. It took me ages. Um, I wanted to do like a hair was like a fish. The, like two fish at the top. Um, yeah, so I drew this. And then... Uh, did I press in the printer? No, I traced it a few more times on... Um, cartridge paper and watercolour paper just so I could change her up because um, I didn't want to like just do the drawing and then, and then colour her in and then I'd sort of lose the drawing wouldn't I? So just wanted to keep that so I could like change the hair up, change the eyes up a few times. So yes, <laughs> as you can see, Starry Mary, not impressive. <laughs> and she's got lips like Katie Price. But um I enjoyed doing it. Uh, this one, um, see, I think if I could do hair, if I knew how to draw, uh, paint hair properly, I think, and the eyelashes like a bit naff, and the eyebrows. Um, I think if the hair had been better, and the eye, and that, it would have been a decent picture. Well, I'm only a beginner, so it would have been yeah, a decent beginner picture. But. I still like it, I guess. I had fun doing the fish. I'll do that again sometime in the future. And this, I drew this alien and used uh, crayon, uh, not crayons, coloured pencils. Because I was um, wanting to do a design of an art doll to make. Yes, yeah, so that's cute. Um, I was using markers for this. Um, anime again. Markers. Oh, this was another picture from uh, the cutest voodoo channel. Um, I forget what she done for that, but it was like I done something similar to what she's done. But I, I just done um, an aeroplane and like you know when those people stand in the middle of the um, where I don't even know what that's called the platform that planes planes land on and they wave the flags and stuff. And I just thought. And then put some roller skates on the horse. Hey, I'm not very knowledgeable, am I? <laughs> um, this was just like another anime thing. I wanted to um, see what the hands would be like holding things. Um, this was another um, picture from the cutest Vo voodoo's channel. Um, she do something um, with ribs and stuff. I can't even remember where her picture was, so this was my, um, where I came up with. But you should check her channel out. She's called Cutest, the channel is Cutest Voodoo. She's got a shop on Etsy as well. Um, she's called Beck, and she's really, really talented. I love her channel. So, there we go. Um, yes, and I think that's another one. As I say, when she's uh, doing illustrations, I sort of do something similar. Uh, the same as this. I mean, she's much, much better at it. But I quite enjoy just following along. Oh, and this is another one here. I mean, don't about you, but I think that's lovely. I just love the texture. Um, this is a uh, graphitined paint. Uh, green, I love green. Um, and I just drew a pair and then... Just painted this, and I just think the texture is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, but see, I'll I'll get like a fluke like this. I'll be just messing around. I'll do a hundred pictures, and they'll be total rubbish or mediocre. And then I'll do one that I absolutely love and thinks really good. And this, I was uh, learning how to draw animals. Um, yeah, so I've just done a few sketches. I don't know if you can see. That's a fennec fox. There's a snake, and that's a frog. Um, and that's a, it's a dromedary. Yeah, dromedary one hump and some carrots. Um, 
and I sort of started, uh, I wanted to see what it would look like adding salt. I'll just zoom in. I added some salt, a um, bit of a bleed here, and then just dropping paint on wet. Um, the snake I never really finished, and the frog and that I didn't. But I added in some carrots, and I quite like the carrots. Um, oh yeah, and I was at work on my break, and I was doodling, I was uh, reading a magazine. It was one of those magazines... Um, you know where you buy little um, figures and things? Oh, God. I used to buy the magazines. Uh, they buy these little plastic figures like Dungeons and Dragons and uh, things from movies, the alien. And I think this was um, off Doctor Who. Uh, there was one episode where there was a lot of haunting kids and uh, they were wearing gas masks and stuff. can't remember what the episode. It was like a war thing or something. Um... Yeah, and there was a figure like that you could buy and paint it. And I was just doodling and I just done that. I don't know if I, there was a Christmas tree there or what. But yeah. So that's that. Um, let me see. See, this is where the voiceover would be much better. And then I wouldn't say am um, so much. Uh, say am, um, I'm going to say it now. Go back out. This is um, uh, just a picture and it was turned out naff. Uh, as you can see, you can't do the hair. I tried to do shadowing and it just went all muddy. That looks like a massive wound to me. And it's supposed to be a fella. Oh yeah, I've wrote on it at the bottom, birthmark. <laughs> but um, yeah, pretty had fun doing it. This one, absolutely love, and I had loads of fun doing this. Um, I wanted, I was going to do autumn leaves, and I got a uh, dark umber, or, um, burnt umber, or umber, and all browns, and was mixing them, and just laid them all down. And then, but the scene was like this, this way. And then I just turned it round for some reason. No, I got up to make a cuppa and when I stood up and I seen it round this and I thought, oh, it looks like a tree. So I thought I'll add some mushrooms. You know those, um, they're like white mushrooms and they look like, like little plates. All, yeah, little plates sort of stuck into the side of the tree. And I think the white. But I didn't want the white, I wanted uh So I tried to add the purple, and as you can see, as the purple has gone in over the brown, it's gone like a, a muddy brown, but never mind. It was an experience, and then I just thought, I'll doodle, um, you know, like a back pattern, like that, and some a bit of fungi here. Have I got it in enough? Yeah, just thought I'd doodle along here, and... Yeah, I quite like it. Stand out all right. Pass some time away. Oh, God, there's... That's the same. I think it's the same face. No, it is in different face. Oh, yeah, so... Yeah, trying to get into faces and um, painting them, but... He looks like he's been uh, all night on the booze. You see his eyes? Oh, and he's got no eyelashes either. Yeah, so... Anyway, I enjoy doing them, so... Oh, this. I love this. Uh, Gaia. Um, I wanted to do a painting of Gaia. Um, I drew her out first. Um, I mean, I like the skin tone and stuff. The She's quite stiff looking. Like, she's got no neck. Um, the butterfly's naff. The hair's naff. Well... It's only like a beginner. I regret putting these here, but, well, I suppose I can go over them. There could be more detail, but I think I'll just do the whole um, painting again. Like the background, the wash, um, the hair. I was trying to, like, put some um, watercolour pencils to try, but I'm not good at doing hair. Yeah, so I do like her, even though she's got loads of faults, but... I mean, can't be perfect, can you, when you're a beginner, you're just starting out. Yeah, do enjoy that one. Um, so that's all for this folder. 
instead of doing this a uh, part two video uh two part video i'll just i wanted to show you some others um i'll just pause you for a bit i'm so thirsty i'm back yeah so instead of doing this a two part video i'll just show you these um just trying different types of media oh there is watercolor i'll just quickly go through it um just try to recreate a branch. Um, oh, watercolor pencils, I think. Just a lily. Um, yeah, watercolor pencils again. Um, do I need to? Um, just yeah, mountains. Um, this was um, wax. Um, what are they called? I bought this great big massive box from somebody off eBay that was selling all sorts of art supplies. And there was some Sennelia uh, pastels, Sennelia like wax type crayon things, loads of Sennelia products. And I didn't know at the time that Sennelia was like really expensive uh, quality products, but I just thought I'd try them out and well... Nothing to say any bad about the product. The products are quite, um, well, really good. But it's just my skills. Not very good. But I did enjoy playing around with them. Um, I tried to recreate Bark on a Tree. There was just something so... Oh, when you're just doing this with your hand and just whacking the colour on, it was just... Brilliant. It just felt, made me feel so good. Oh, I can't get my words out, but it was just brilliant. Just flicking the colour down and just felt good. Uh, here, um, yes, what can I say? Just messing around. This I quite liked at the time. Yeah. This, not so much. Um... Again, there, and that was with the pastels. Well, I only use this on uh, cheap drawn paper. Just focus out. Uh, cheap drawn paper I used. But even if I had to use the expensive pastel, it uh, wouldn't have been very good. Because um, it was just like trying it out for the first time rubbish tree rubbish scenery but i mean i keep all these because even though they are like not very good just look back and see what my uh, skill level was a few years ago i mean in 10 years time who's to say that i don't pick another uh, pastel up and try again and um and over a few years i might become good and then i can look back and say this is how i started but, and you just like look back and you learn from your mistakes, don't you? Oh, this was in a, in a book when I was trying to do watercolour and it was like all these little templates and this is a tulip. Just not very good, but I enjoy doing it. Um, this is a robin. I quite like the texture of the tree, but it looks deliberate more than um, natural. But still, I had fun doing it. There's another branch. Um, and as you can see, most of this is on the cheap... I think all of it is. Yeah. See, when I start, first started out with watercolours, I didn't realise... i never done the research. I didn't realise you needed to buy the appropriate paper for watercolours. So I was just using um, paper, cheap... Um, cheap sketch paper so but it never put me off i mean the results weren't very good it never put me off i just did more research watched some tutorials and bought the um decent paper bought the watercolor paper and tried again but as i say uh, my passion's clear so you can't be a master of it can you if you've got so many things on the go uh, this is pastel again um oh Pencils, watercolour. This is a an orca. Orca, orca, yeah. Um, I've seen uh, 
painting on, I think it's Pin Interest, and it's of a, a whale, Humpty Back Whale. And the lady has done like a lighthouse, and oh, it looks really good. So I might, um, in the future, I might try to recreate something like that. I also seen a resin sculpture what this fella had done. It was a whale, Humpty Back Whale. And it had a whole, um, I think it was Manhattan inside of it. It was really good the way he done it. Um, this is just watercolour pencils. And that's self-portrait. <laughs> Um, didn't know whether that was going to be a jellyfish or a mushroom. As I say, it's all on that cheap paper. Maybe it would have looked a bit better on watercolour. Try again in the future. Um, I was learning how to paint leaves and stuff. I think I'll try that again. In a few days' time, I think I'll try it again. Not very successful, uh, but the colours are nice. There again, and this is a uh, wolf. Bed of paradise. Wolf using pastels. Wolf using pastels. So that is my journey um, of trying to teach myself how to draw um, and using other media. Yes, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I will go now. See you, bye.